Section 10 of Birds, Volume 2, Number 1, July 1897. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Canvas Back Duck. White Back, Canard Cheval, New Orleans, Bullneck, and Red Headed Bullneck are common names of the famous canvas back, which nests from the northern states northward to Alaska. Its range is throughout nearly all of North America, wintering from the Chesapeake southward to Guatemala. The biography of this duck, says Mabel Osgood Wright, belongs rather to the cookbook than to a bird list, even its most learned biographers referring mainly to its eatable qualities, Dr. Coos even taking away its character in that respect when he says, There is little reason for squealing and barbaric joy over this overrated and generally underdone bird. Not one person in ten thousand can tell it from any other duck on the table, and only then, under the celery circumstances, referring to the particular flavor of its flesh, when at certain seasons it feeds on valisneria, or water celery, which won its fame. This is really not celery at all, but an eelgrass, not always found through the range of the canvas back. When this is scarce, it eats frogs, lizards, tadpoles, fish, etc., so that, says Mrs. Osgood, a certificate of residence should be sold with every pair to ensure the inspiring flavor. The opinion held as to the edible qualities of this species varies greatly in different parts of the country. Nowhere has it so high a reputation as in the vicinity of Chesapeake Bay, where the alleged superiority of its flesh is ascribed to the abundance of water celery. That this notion is erroneous is evident from the fact that the same plant grows in far more abundance in the upper Mississippi Valley, where also the canvas back feeds on it. Hence, it is highly probable that fashion and imagination or perhaps a superior style of cooking and serving, play a very important part in the case. In California, however, where the water celery does not grow, the canvas back is considered a very inferior bird for the table. It has been hunted on the Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries with such inconsiderate greed that its numbers have been greatly reduced, and many have been driven to more southern waters. In and about Baltimore, the canvas back, like the famous terrapin, is in as high favor for its culinary excellence as are the women for beauty and hospitality. To gratify the healthy appetite of the human animal, this bird was doubtless sent by a kind providence, none the less mindful of the creature comforts and necessities of mankind than of the purely aesthetic senses. End of section 10. Recording by Valentina Vicelli.